I want to start by reading out of um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. I was able to read this yesterday. I was asked to um, at the celebration of life for Nancy Maori. And I, I, I think it's so important for us to hear this. It says this, For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. We need to be looking eternally. The things that we see here are temporary. All the stuff that's going on, it's temporary concerning, but it's temporary. We need to be looking up because our Lord is coming soon. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, what a blessing that it is to be able to come and worship you. We pray, Father, that this church would always, Lord, seek to worship you in spirit and in truth with the knowledge, Father, that your Son is our Savior. Bless this service that you would be glorified. Bless each of us that we would hear what you want to say to us through Pastor Rick's message. And bless the worship team, Father, as they lead us into an opportunity to just praise your name. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today after church is the Future Today Prophecy Meeting. And, uh, um, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, and so you'll get to hear some of that. Um, Pastor Rick and I were talking about, and um, maybe we'll go two hours today instead of the one. But uh, um, don't, don't let that scare you away. There's just that much happening. But anyway, stay and uh, be a part of the Future Today Prophecy Meeting. Next Saturday is Men's Prayer Breakfast, so you guys uh, grab somebody and come and um, worship together with the uh, men um, and hear a message uh, from Pastor Rick as well. And then um, uh, the following Sunday, um, next Sunday would be, is called Green Sunday. <laughs> Anybody get what that means? Oh, no, no, it is not a St. Patty's Day, but it is green. Um, it should be orange, by the way. Okay, orange Sunday, just for David. Okay. Just say it. David's helping us out. We're going to have orange Sunday, but bring green stuff to share within <laughs> fellowship. I didn't plan it. He did. Wow. Uh, okay, so it's a fellowship. Bring something green to share. And um, Nathan will be happy because you bring him something green. It is a fellowship with food that has some kind of green in it. That's a scary thought right there. Anyway, that's next Sunday right after church. Um, and then, of course, the fourth Sunday, um, the fourth Sunday of the, the month is our um, uh, uplifting prayer time. And, you know, um, we should be a praying church. So plan to stay and pray on that fourth Sunday. OK, um, also, there's so much other so many other things going on. Just uh, pay attention to your calendar and uh, put some things on your calendar to participate in fellowship. And just the opportunity to praise our Lord. We should continually pray for our government. A um, lot of things coming up before the Supreme Court. So pray for them. Pray for our leadership. Um, because quite honestly they need it. Um, pray for Israel. Um, center of the universe is Israel. And we're going to see more of that happen over time. So with that let's enter into prayer. And then we will um, worship our Lord. Father, we do just uh, thank you for the opportunity to worship you. Not only to worship you, Father, but to sit at your feet and know that you are God. There is no other. Help us, Father, to um, just love each other as you have loved us. We pray for the Ukrainian Christians, Father, that are struggling. And not only the Christians, but those that don't know you, that this would be an opportunity for them to come to know you, Father. Lord, we just are thankful that as you bring and converge your prophecies together, that we know we're going home soon. I pray, Lord, that you would bless our government, that they would hear your voice, repent, and seek your face. And then, Lord, we pray for Israel. Bless them. Bless their leadership to seek after you. We pray for Rick, Father, that you would do something wonderful uh, in him, 
Give him energy and strength. We just thank you, Father, for our pastor. In Jesus' name, amen. One last thing. Everybody turn and say, happy birthday, Pastor Rick. Happy birthday.